Hi Dress Up Cuties, today we're going to draw a Poopsie Surprise Unicorn. So let's get started. To draw a rainbow bright star, we're going to first start by drawing its face. So I'm going to come here and basically draw kind of like a flattened out bottom of a U. So about right there, I'll start. And I'm going to start to curve it around. And it's going to be pretty wide, so about right here. Start again for the other side. And I'm just basically building a wide flattened out U, bottom of a U. So about right here. And we're just going to go ahead and connect it. There. So it's the basic shape that we're aiming for for her face. And then we're going to come in this area where we started. Come up a little bit more. But right here, I'm going to start and draw a circle for the eyes. So right here towards the edge, I'm just going to draw a big circle. And same thing on this side. Towards the edge. And let's make them draw so cute eyes. So I'm going to come in here with a highlight. So two highlights. One of them is going to be a little bit bigger and one smaller. Just to make it a little bit more magical. And then come to the bottom right here. We're just going to draw a curve all the way across and shade in the top. So I heard this toy right now is the number one toy out there. Because <laughs> it has surprise elements, it has slime elements, of course, right? And it's a unicorn. So once I heard that, I felt I had to draw it for you. So right here, another same thing. Bigger circle for one highlight, and then a smaller circle, and a curve on the bottom, and shade in the top. So if you guys love these characters, uh, let me know in the comments below which uh, other one you want me to draw. I think as of right now, there's four total. Okay, so I have the eyes in. So let's come over here and we're going to draw some amazing lashes for this unicorn. So I'm going to come down here. We're going to slope it down a little bit about right here. I'm just going to drag out a curve towards the bottom about right here. And I'm going to thicken this. So this is going to be the main lash. So same thing over here. Thicken it, come out. And then we're going to come up now and draw some smaller lashes just to fill it in. So thinner ones. So maybe four. It's all up to you. You can put a bunch if you want. I'm just going to leave it about four. So same thing here. One, two, and three. So a total of four. There. And then let's um, come over here towards the bottom in the center and we're going to draw two little nostrils. So very lightly, right in between, about right here, draw two little ovals. And then a smile right underneath these circles. So right here towards the bottom, just draw a curve, cap it off, edge, and then right here just Give her a wide and out smile, and then come in here and draw a curve for the tongue. I'll come in here a little bit later with a thinner sharpie to draw a curve around the nose and the mouth because um, I don't want to mud muddle it up with this thick sharpie. Okay, so then from there we're going to come up right here. We're going to bring this curve up. So now we're just going to try to finish off her face about right here. And before we finish off that curve, it's going to come about right here. So in this area, right here in the center, I'm just going to draw a curve. And we're going to start to draw her horn. So about right there, let's find our center. Uh, say about this tall. And I'm just going to round off the tip right here. And bring an angle line all the way down. To draw a horn. 
And then from there, let's come in here, maybe about three curves. Or maybe four. <laughs> four uh, ridges right here. And you can come in here and pop it out a little bit. There. Okay, so then from there, let's finish this curve. We're going to bring it all the way up and so into about this area. And same thing over here. So just finish off her face and connect. And let's come back up here. We're going to draw very lightly on top of the eye a little curve on top of each eye. There. Okay, so then from there, let's draw um, the hair. So we're going to come about right here and I'm just going to draw a slight angle line where the hair parts. And from there, everything's going to start. I'm going to go up. And this one is going to go down on this side. And so this is going to start to be the hair on this side that's falling. So I'm just going to bring this out all the way. Nice and full. Bring it all the way down. So let's go and finish this curve. Go up behind the horn. And about right there. Bring it all the way down. So same thing about this wide. Bring it all the way down. And then from there, before we finish that part off, let's come back up here and we're going to, let's see, come over here. So we're going to just put a mound um, a curve right here on top of her hair. So about right here, I'll start to make her hair fuller, her head fuller. So about right there, I'll continue this curve. All the way back. And then now we can go ahead and come up here for one more curve. <laughs> and so right in the center, because she has her hair tied up in a little half ponytail. So that's one more curve. And then now we can come back right here in this part where we start and draw the ear. So we're just going to come up with a curve round it off and come back down and let's draw the inside of the ear so we're going to do the same thing so we're going to start right here and go up I'm just going to drag a point across approximate about the same height round it off and bring it back down right there and so once again same thing the inside of the ear round this off a little bit more okay so then from there we're going to come up right here and draw the ponytail so we're going to bring it up curve it all the way across and about bring it down more about right there, I'll flare out a strand, bring it back in, and continue. So then before we finish off the hair, let's come back and um, let's draw the body. So we're going to come right here, and underneath her head, right in the center, we're going to draw a curve, and another small curve for her um, collar and then right here draw two angle lines I'll bring it down a little bit more so this is the little top that she's wearing the little shirt and about right there I'm going to go ahead and connect it with a curve and then let's give her some sleeves so come over here bring down a curve and connect it. So same thing on this side. There. And connect. So let's draw detail right here. Just come in here and give her a little stripe right there. And then from there, let's continue her body. So I'm going to, from this little shirt, oh, I have this, 
another band right at the bottom. Okay, so then from there, let's continue her little belly area. So we're gonna continue this angle down. Nice little chubby baby unicorn. <laughs> uh, about that much, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it with another curve. And so notice it's deepest down here in the center and it goes right back up. Then from there, let's come and we're start to draw her diaper. So come out, poof it out a tiny bit on both sides. And once again, we're just gonna draw another curve all the way down. This is like drawing a layer of cake, right? <laughs> and bring it back up. Okay, so then now from there, I'm gonna come in this area, uh, about right here. I'll just give myself two points so I know I'm leaving my center. And I'm gonna come over here and just wiggle some ruffles all the way back. So same thing over here. All the way back. And then for the, um, Let's come back up here and draw the arms. So I'm going to come up here and we're going to draw the arms. It's just very simple, just coming out. So about right here, I'm going to continue. Dip it in a little bit and then we're going to come out. And then right here, just draw a curve. And about right here, we're going to connect it with a curve. And then we're going to draw the hoof part. So continue, round it off and bring it in and then come in here just give it a little curve for some detail for the hoof so same thing on this side dip it in and come out and once again about right here so just give yourself some points so you know approximately the same length on the hands about right there Connect it and the hoof part. So round it off and bring it in. And once again, a little detail, bring a little curve in here. There, <laughs> okay. So now let's draw the um, legs. So uh, let's see, we're gonna start in the center first. So about right here, just draw a little curve and then come out towards the center. Little curve. So it just comes in and then comes out on both sides. And we, let's come over here. So we're imagining it's continuing the leg. So about right here, it's gonna pop out and come in and out. And connect it at the bottom with a curve. So same thing here, just coming down. It's gonna come in and out once again and connect it with a curve okay so then from there let's come in here for some details we will draw a little heart right here and the hoof part so it's just a curve that slides down and then there's two little lines right here for some details so the same thing on this side Heart, curve it down, and two little lines. So now that the body is done, we can go ahead and finish off the hair. So I'm going to come to this side first, and I'm just going to flare it out. Give it one strand, come back in, and flare it out again. So on this side, we're just going to move it this way, so everything's kind of sweeping. So bring this curve, sweep it all the way down. About right there, I'll stop, curve, come back up, down, continue all the way through, and come back over here, come up, so then about right here, we're gonna come in with another detail. Just break it up a little bit. 
and once again connect it all the way back there and then for this part right here it's just um, make it simple we're just gonna one big strand and bring it back in and that is pretty much it for the main details now I'm going to come back in with a thinner sharpie to draw all the tiny little details so the first thing we're going to do is come over here and draw a curve around the nostril and the mouth so say about right here very delicately <laughs> I don't want this part too dark so about right here I'll we'll start and very lightly just draw kind of like an oval around. And bring it around. And back in there. So if you don't want to use a uh, dark line, you can always uh, do it when you're um, coloring it and you use a gray line. So it's not too harsh. Let me fix my eye here. There, okay, I think that's better. <laughs> that was bugging me. Okay, so then from there, let's come and draw some details. So the first thing is um, we're gonna draw a heart, um, not a heart, a star right in the center for a detail on the shirt. So it's point, we're gonna draw the other points for a star and then bring it down for the bottom towards the center and out and then from there let's draw a curve behind the star for our rainbow it's just a little band and curve And when you're coloring, you can just add different bands of color. I don't want to um, make dark lines to uh, mess it up too much. And then right here, I'm just going to draw. There's a little face on the star, so make it very simple. <laughs> just three little curves. And then let's come over here and we're going to draw the top ruffle for the diaper. So I'm just going to basically ruffle all the way across. there and then right in the center we're going to draw a heart for our belly button and then now with the diaper part so about right here draw a curve I hope I have all the details correct and then there's this um, right here bobby pin that we need to draw so I'm gonna try to simplify it I'm just gonna draw a little curve start with that let's thicken this top part and then this part is just going to be thin and then we're just going to draw a strap that comes around it and come in here for a little curve and two little lines Don't want to make it too complicated, right? Okay, so same thing over here. Bobby pin, so let's thicken the top part. And then the bottom is thinner. And then we're going to draw once again. A little strap that comes around it. A little line right here and two little lines. Okay, so then from there, let's see here. Those details are pretty much done. Let's figure out the hair. So um, if you want to very lightly, just draw some lines to give our hair some movement. So continue that curve. Or you can do that when you're coloring it if you don't want it too harsh. So maybe about right here, I'm just draw some curves that come towards the center. over here and let's see here
there. I don't want to mess it up too much. <laughs> you can always add whatever colors you want in here to create that rainbow effect when you're coloring it. But I hope this gives you an idea of what you can do. So there, that's pretty much it for my rainbow bright star from Poopsie Surprise Unicorn. Hope you guys love how it turned out and it was easy for you guys to follow along. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.